We're shucking away here, shucking away. You know what? The weather outside is perfect. It Don't is. work too hard. You're getting a red face there, which means it's time for all kinds of outdoor festivities right here in the valley. But some of our favorite ones involve food and wine. And Go wine figure. and food and yeah. wine. <laughs> this is Mark Tarbell of Tarbells. You know him, you love him. Just one of the many chefs that you're going to see at the Arizona Festival coming up. It's called Check Please. Check Please. And it's happening out at the Arizona Center. That's usually what I say. Check Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Get me out of here. No, you're usually here. Here's your check, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, you're going to be out there this weekend. I am right? going to be out there. Yes, there's going to be a, a lot of great chefs, including some real chefs, some James Beard Award winners, uh, Christopher Gross and Nobu. Nobu from Nobu's at the Theater House is a fabulous chef. Yes, um, and yourself, They're going to be doing a discussion. Yes, yes, some wine tastings. I will be there. We're going to be shucking oysters, which I know is crazy, but we're going to do that. We also have some food that is not shucked. Okay. Um, so unshucked. Unshucked. <laughs> yes. How much chuck can... How kind much, of woodchuck chuck. Yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah. so what are you making for us? Well, I'm making a lot of things. Because this is I what's have, going to be available, right? I'm OCD right? ADD, so I'm going to do everything all at once. Okay, so good. We have I'm going to We have a cucumber vinaigrette, so we just take seedless cucumbers like this. I love those. And mince them, so you just slice them in little teeny panels like this. Very easy to do with a, sli with a uh, mandolin or a sharp knife. And then you cut them into long, thin strips. These are called julienne. Because you know Julian is very very popular. Yes. And then Julian, you make little little tiny tiny dice like. I this. always practice that technique at home after watching. Check watching, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After watching your show. At, well, with after all the great watching chefs you have. the real chefs do. The real, real chefs, yes. So that let's just finish up that vinaigrette. It is okay. so easy. Just okay. a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. We're gonna put some lemon in there. All some some of these. Stir it up. We're gonna grate some horseradish in it. Ooh, bada boom, bada -boom. Got a little bite to it, huh? Yeah, you need a little spice when you're doing oysters. You need a little salt. You need a little bit something of something to kill the taste. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. anything to kill I'm not the an taste. Oyster fan. <laughs> and why don't we just put a little bit of olive oil in there too? Oh, just okay? a little. I'm yeah, glad like you that brought much. that little container. I know. I, I couldn't find the big one, so I brought the little one. <laughs> that's all right. Anyway, that's essentially it. You see that? That's and, it? and that's what we're gonna. Yes. Okay. It's super simple. You just Even want a little that. bit of citrus, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of okay. cucumber. Okay. So we'll put that aside. Put that aside. Now, of course, the classic um, cocktail sauce is just made with a little bit of lemon juice. You can do it with ketchup. I, I thought I'd make the easy version here. Oh. Lemon juice, ketchup. Stir that in. I always like a pinch more salt because ketchup tends to be a little bit sweet. And that's just regular table ketchup. Regular table ketchup. Okay. And then we've grated some horseradish. You can put as much or as little as you want. Mm -hmm. Now, there's, you can make it fancier and more complicated, but essentially this is it. Pinch of seasoning, and we are good to go. That's your basic cocktail sauce. That's your sauce basic right cocktail there. sauce. Now to make it, now make the green cocktail sauce, the one, the green monster that I call. I like just anything to do with cilantro. You wait, like wait. cilantro? I love cilantro, but what's in there? Are those? These are to pumpkin seeds I've been oh, toasting. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that, but here it's so, it sounds like they're hollow. Yes. That's what they need to sound like when they're fully toasted. Dry pan. I've been toasting those, and I'm going to put a little bit of cumin in there, which I'm going to toast out as well. I always have to be careful when I toast um, nuts like that because they I can overdo it too fast. You just yeah. did it like low and slow just low and now, slow. though, right? Did you see it smoking? I did. <laughs> yeah, it was what smoking. is that spice you put in there? Uh, it's cumin. powerful. Okay, cumin. cumin. Okay. You like cumin? I do, I, okay. actually, yes. Wow. The honesty. Why, are you surprised? <laughs> no. <laughs> cumin like is one of those things that's sort of like a birth smeter. Okay. Uh, not everyone loves it, but they love to talk about it. And the same but thing with cilantro. You cilantro. either love it or hate it. Exactly. So we're putting a little cilantro in there, a little bit of cumin. Okay. Again, a little bit of uh, lemon juice or lime juice, salt, and then olive oil. And mm. we're going to go right over here to our fancy whip, mixer. Whip it up. Whip it up. A what? touch, a titch of olive oil. Essentially, this is like a, uh, any kind of sauce or salsa verde. Did you give us some recipes, that Tarbell? I did give you recipes, so Thank I'm going to let you. that roll for a minute. Okay, because we only have like 30 seconds 30 left. 30 seconds left. Yeah. Okay, this is what it look, looks like so when it's finished. If you want to check that out, I we're do. all. It's like a little bit of a. So, so this is the sauce you can. You have a choice, either either the right. cocktail sauce, the green sauce, or the vinaigrette. Right. And at the at the um, event on Saturday, are you going to be handing these out? Uh, I will be. Okay. Yes, All right. There you go. All right. Up next, we're going to have another chef who's going to be cooking for us too. Uh, all about the festival coming up in Tarbell. You know we love it. And he'll tell you more about it. And he's going to tell you more about <laughs> the event. Uh, but we have all the info on SonoraLemon.com. Yeah. Thank you.